70 yard touchdown pass from Cameron to Tyshawn Odom and it is 34 nothing and Rob all I can say is what a second half performance by again a Charger team that is without numerous starters on this uh, squad tonight as they will try to make it 35 nothing with Evan Davis coming on for the extra point. And once again, Tim, give that offensive line a lot of credit because there was a lot yep. of Chase Trojans on the way. They did a good job to allow Kimberlin time to get that ball down the field. Evan Davis in once again to attempt this extra point here for the Chargers. Tyshawn Odom is in on the hold. We're waiting on the snap. There's the snap. The ball is down and that kick is up. And ladies and gentlemen, that kick is good. On the professional pharmacy scoreboard, it's now the Chargers 35, the Trojans 0. This is Chris Football on KTC Broadcast. It's the 92nd edition of the Cleveland County Fair, September 29th through October 9th. What goes around comes around at the Cleveland County Fair. There's plenty of free entertainment for all, including the Zervini Family Circus, Hiptimus Mike Bishop, and the Barnyard Review plus the Demolition Derby on both Saturday nights and the Eastern Wrestling Federation on the grandstand October 4th, 5th, and 6th. For complete information and schedules, visit clevelandcountyfair.com. September 29th through October 9th, this year saluting the Cleveland County Strawberry Growers. Peyton Cameron on to Tyshawn Odom, 70-yard touchdown pass. And it is 35-0 crest on our professional Pharmacy at Bowling Springs scoreboard. Time for another Jam and Jay's Pizza Factory kickoff for the Chargers. And Rob, I go back to it again. Talk about the Chargers, especially. Had a 14 nothing, 12 nothing halftime lead. What about this second half? Uh, you know, as we said, they've really come out, and it's been a total team effort uh, across the board for this Crest offense, especially. And the defense has continued to do what they had done in the first half. Davis to kick it off. And he's going to kick it deep again, and it's going to be taken around the two. The return man. The return here. It's got a little bit of room, and he'll be there brought he down jumped. at around the 17. Tim, how about this stat? Thanks to Mrs. Amy Foster for Kimberlin, 198 yards passing in the second half. What a half. And, and this kid, probably, you know, you talk a lot about him. He's going to be special here at Crest, and you've seen signs of it. And I think, uh, you know, a lot of the talk about the offensive line, Rob, and, of course, uh, Chase has, has brought the blitz. But this is an offensive line. I think we both agree it may never be dominant this year, but I think it's going to get better as the season goes, goes along. Would you agree? I go back to that T.C. Robertson game where they were facing some big guys up front. Did a good job in that night to really play well. They've done a great job here tonight. And we may have a new quarterback in here, Rob. We do. Yes, the, there's another yep, bad snap. This time we've got Colin Hip, the sophomore, in for Chase and the snap a little bit high and goes behind him and Rob this surprises me with Chase a little bit of the snaps and you're week six and seven they've had some good offensive games but there again you two went back to just mm -hmm. the the pressure tonight I think what Chris has done up front defensively has really uh, rattled I think their center for Chase I think that's why you're seeing so many problems Colin Hips in the sophomores we mentioned quarterback with 413 to go Chase second 18 from their own 10 it's been all Crest especially in the second half Here's a snap, a handoff, and he runs into a brick wall again. Man, what a defensive performance. Crest trying to get their second shutout of the year. Coming up after tonight's game, it will be our CSI Mechanical Stadium postgame show. We'll be naming our players of the game, our recap of the game, and, of course, uh, we'll have stats. And we'll talk more about Crest Kings Mountain. And as you said, Rob, it is a big one. That game, flat out, Rob, it's got big-time playoff implications. Absolutely for both teams. Tim, I do want to say again about this Crest offensive line. If you had to pick a strength uh, for Chase defensively, was their defensive yeah. line and how well they've played this year? Yeah, Crest has done a, especially in the second half, they've done a good mm -hmm. job. Chase, third and 18, clock runs. We're down to 310. I think Chase can let it run down, too. And they're going to roll out under a lot of pressure. The oh, ball's on the ground. Crest has got it at the two-yard line. It was picked up that time by McLean, the junior, Devon McLean, and Rob Crest, uh, an opportunity to add to this. And let's be honest, Rob, you, you throw out a couple penalties here. There, that Crest could be up 
up near 50 points in this ball game tonight. It's certainly their highest scoring game, and there's been a lot of talk about Crest scoring points. Uh, this is a good night offensively. And, you know, you wonder, Tim, is, is this the kind of game that this offense needed to, to gain some confidence? I mean, I mean, they were hearing the people talk. They were, they were, you yeah. know, people saying, what's the matter with well, the we, Crest You know, they were up to, I can't imagine how many people I've talked to, Rob, this week. What's wrong with Crest scoring 19? We keep hearing that 19 points a game. Well, Rob, maybe this could be that game where they start breaking out a little bit. And, and once again, you know, we, we talk about how the quarterback situation maybe now has worked itself out uh, because you do would look, see the numbers for Cam Peeler in the second half receiving and, and Kimberlin at the quarterback spot. We've got a chase. No, wait a minute. Yeah, I believe we do have a chase timeout. Crest first and gold after the break. And we're coming back on KTC broadcast. Have you got a ping, pang, ding going on with your car or truck? Then take it to A-Plus Automotive in Shelby. A-Plus Automotive does all types of automotive repairs, from tune-ups to oil changes and complete diagnostic work. And they are North Carolina Inspection Station. With over 30 years of experience, see A-Plus Automotive in Shelby. They also do AC and heater repair. Get her running today with a stop at A-Plus Automotive, 1900 Elizabeth Avenue in Shelby. See Charlie Heston today or call 704-482-0441 for A-Plus Automotive in Shelby. Welcome back to Chase High School. First and gold for the Chargers at the 2. 2.48 to go. Tim Foster, Rob Roof, Amy Foster, John Prather on video. Crest has dominated the second half. They had a 12-0 halftime lead. They put up 23 second half points and looking to add to that. And Rob, the big story, what about, I uh, believe now, three chase turnovers in this ball game? Yeah, those, those, those hurt. I mean. First and goal for the Chargers. Here's the snap. And, of course, Rob, the side judge, has blown the whistle. And we're going to have another crest penalty. I'll start well, on the surely, Chargers. Surely you didn't think with 245 left, you was getting out of here without another one. No comment. <laughs> Four, yeah, four turnovers for the Chargers. Four turnovers, thank you. That's Amy Foster staying on top of stats tonight. I'm thankful we have her, Rob. That's exactly right. They'd be all over the place right now. Literally. She's keeping me calm here, too. Yes. Thank yes. goodness you are, too. First and goal clock starts running now. Ball at the seven. Is Tim Foster getting brownies? Did, did, we, did we get through? I think we got through that. <laughs> Just let folks know at home, just in case you were wondering. Oh, what a shot. What, by, a, what a great tackle yeah. there by Chase. Uh, hit in the backfield that time. What number was that, Tim? Number What's 30? That? Uh, 38? Yeah, was, that, was that Borders on the carry? Yeah, Borders on the carry. So it's going to be second and goal. Look like that may have been, was it, I think it was 30, possibly Dylan Moore on the stop there for Chase. Rob, one thing you got to be happy about tonight, uh, obviously you're not happy with the penalties, but, you know, you look at all three facets of the game, and Crest has no doubt won that tonight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, we talk about special teams, defense, and offense, and Crest has won all three spots. Second and goal from the nine. See Crest run it down as much as they can before they run the play. Kimmerlin with the – I believe it will be Borders again. There's Borders breaking loose. He's still on his feet. He's inside the five, maybe to the four or the three, and it will be third and goal from there. Nice game by Namari Borders tonight. Yeah, good, good to see this young man coming in and, and getting some carries and playing well coming in for, for prior. Rob, a couple of guys I'll keep it. We'll be thinking about, uh, for, as we talked about next week, can they get healthy? Guys like Tavion Brentley, uh, Wesley Bullard. Uh, I mean, Tim, you got a Shrine Bowl defensive yeah, back standing on the sidelines yeah, tonight. And, and it just tells you, Rob, what, you know, you get healthy. And, and you got to believe a couple of those Chargers may be back next Friday night for that huge game with, with Keys Mountain. Third and goal from the four, 108 to go in the game. I believe, I would say, see Crest running that clock down. Yeah. Take the snap, just hand it off. Kimberlin gets the snap. Here is Borders up the middle. And did he get in? The officials were not in position. Here they come in to see if he got it, and apparently he didn't. Borders up the middle. And it will be. You've got to wonder here, Tim, do you take do you take the knee here with the ball at the one? Yeah, I think you, that's a classy thing to do here, Rob. I believe that's what's going to happen. They're going to wait just on the spot. To see I don't know if they have to. I don't believe they have to run another play. See, when the officials wind the clock, it's going to be the key, and the officials still standing over the ball. Let's see, and that right there is going to do it. Yep. 
Crest will not have to run another play. They will move to 5-1 and one and 3-0 and oh in SMAC Conference play. An impressive second half tonight and a great win tonight for the Crest Chargers in a game where they dealt with a lot of penalties. But, uh, Rob, the big story is the huge second half for Crest. Yeah, exactly right. You know, really came out of, we talked about getting the football back to start the half. Struggled on that opening drive, but after that really took control of the game. Chris wins it tonight. 35 nothing over Chase. And we're back with our CSI Mechanical Stadium postgame show after this. Since 1985, Reed Lindsay State Farm Insurance Agency has been serving the people of Shelby and Cleveland County. Their mission is to help people manage the risk of everyday life and help you recover from the unexpected and realize your dreams. You'll find a friendly staff that will work hard for you and your insurance needs. From auto to home to property, life insurance and more. See Reed Lindsay State Farm Insurance Agency, 1671 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, next to Tractor Supply. Open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, online at ReedLindsay.com. It's the Campers in RV Explore America sales event. You'll find incredible deals on RVs for every destination, including motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and more. Discover all our country has to offer at Campers in RV of Kings Mountain or CampersIn.com. How would you like to see towering mountains, vast canyons, and beautiful shorelines all from your living room window? Campers Inn RV of Kings Mountain can make your dreams come true with huge savings on RVs all month. Find the best prices on top brands of motorhomes, travel trailers, and more. Visit Campers Inn RV of Kings Mountain or CampersInn.com. If you live in the Bowling Springs area, we invite you to visit Professional Pharmacy. Pharmacy manager Tanya Gant invites you to come in for friendly, fast, professional service. And Professional Pharmacy in Bowling Springs accepts all insurance, including North Carolina Medicaid and Medicare Part D prescription plans. Come see why more and more people are going to Professional Pharmacy in Bowling Springs. Hey, maybe you should too. Professional Pharmacy, 139 East College Avenue in Bowling Springs. Call 704-434-9897. Again, that's 704-434-9897 for Professional Pharmacy in Bowling Springs. At Marburger Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Shelby, they do the deals that the other guys just won't. They strive to do their best to keep you 100% satisfied. See the full line today from new Chrysler 300 to a Dodge Challenger to the new Jeep Wrangler to the big Ram trucks. They've got it all. That's why people refer to them as the Marburger Powerhouse. Don't take it from us. Come see for yourself at Marburger Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, 1310 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby or online at Marburger Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram dot com. Do it. Do, do you satisfy? Go on and do it. Do it. Air Gas National Welders has been the leader in the industrial gas and welding supply industry for over 60 years. Gases for medical research, industrial, and other applications are available in a wide range of cylinder sizes, from small high-pressure cylinders to large cryogenic bulk vessels and high-pressure tube trailers. The experienced staff at Air Gas will make sure your system is operational, providing the gas storage and delivery system that is right for you. The right products, the right locations, and the right expertise. You'll find it all at Air Gas National Welders. For more information, call 1-800-866-4422 to find or visit the website at airgas.com. Welcome into our CSI Mechanical Stadium postgame show. Crest Beach Chase tonight, 35 0. They're 5 and 1 on the season, 3 0 in Smack Conference play. Five consecutive wins after that uh, opening loss at uh, South Point. And uh, Rob Roop, uh, as you uh, join us, uh, Rob, let's look at our uh, Reed Lindsay State Farm Insurance recap of this ball game. Rob, talk about some of the, the key components of this Crest, Crest victory tonight. Crest was able to get on the board, Tim, in the first quarter. It was 8.57 on the clock. Davion Pryor had a four-yard run. The Davis kick was blocked, and the Chargers were ahead 6-0. Crest got on the board once again in the second quarter, 49 seconds. Raquan Turner, a four-yard run. The Davis kick was no good after, as Amy Foster on here, a circus uh, occurred out there with all the penalties. Crest had 12-0. That's an understatement. Going into halftime. 
In the third quarter, the defense gets involved in the scoring. Six minutes to go. It was a safety forced by the Crest defense. The Chargers are ahead 14-0. Ray Quan Turner is back in the end zone again off of a one-yard one. Four seconds to go in the third quarter. This time, the Evan Davis kick was good. Putting the Chargers ahead 21-0. 8.33 to go in the fourth quarter. Chris is on the board once again. It was a Kimberlin 10-yard pass to Cameron Peeler, putting the Chargers ahead 28-0 the, with the Davis kick being good. And in the fourth quarter, 4.49 to go. Crest hits Tyshawn Odom on a 68-yard touchdown pass. The Davis kick was good. The Chargers go ahead 35-0, taking us to our final. 35-0 tonight. The Chargers with their victory over the Chase Trojans here tonight. And again, it was an outstanding win, Tim, for the Chargers. No doubt about that. It certainly was uh, to move to, to five and one. And, and Rob, the, the big thing, as big as your overall record is, what about three and zero in a smack? That's, Every conference uh, victory is certainly big. When we come back, we'll be naming our players of the game. We'll have post-game stats. Crest wins at 35 nothing over Chase. And we're back with more of our post-game show after this. It's the end of the season tire blowout sale at Full Throttle Power Sports in Gastonia. Michelin Pilot Power tires start at $99.99 and Continental Motion tires start at $75. Plus, get end of the season deals on the remaining Yamaha watercraft. Plus, great motorcycle deals like a 2015 Yamaha R3 for $49.90 and the new 2015 Yamaha FZ6R for $69.89. Full Throttle Power Sports. Exit 22 off I-85 at 100 Indian Walk in Lowell. Online at ncfullthrottle.com. Hendrick's Mattress Center and Hendrick Appliance in Shelby are now under one big roof. Come see the new showroom and save thousand dollars on selected units. Now is the time to buy. Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center is overstocked. You'll find special prices on closeouts and many one-of-a-kind items. Save on headboards, pillows, and sheets. Come in now and see the selection and save big at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center. Now all under one big roof at 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Back at Chase High School, Crest wins at 35-0 over Chase to go to 5 and one on the season, and uh, Rob Rupp, let's look at our uh, post-game stats, and we'll see some interesting stats as we go over to you. Thank you very much, Tim. Uh, for uh, the Chase Trojans tonight, Tyrese McClain, uh, game totals, nine for 13 through the air for 43 yards. Tim, this is a young man rushed for about 160 yards last week. Tonight he had 12 carries for minus 24 yards. Yeah, uh, just unbelievable. These final numbers are going to really be special tonight. Go ahead. Colin Hip, one carry for negative eight yards on the night. Squires had five receptions for 32 yards, two carries for 12 yards, a total of 44. Xavier Williams had one reception for three yards. He had four carries for minus two yards. Uh, Isaiah Mills, four carries for minus six yards. It was Matthew Jenkins, one reception for zero yards. Uh, number one, he was not on our roster, but he's also number one in your heart. He had one carry for zero yards. Rashad Wilkins, one reception for eight yards. Uh, totals for the game, passing tonight, 40, 43 yards. Look out there, yeah. They are bugs just yeah. literally attacking me here. They're in the not used box. to colder weather. That's what it is. They, they got nervous. Plus, they heard my dulcet tones of giving these stats away. Yes. Uh, Passing-wise tonight for the Trojans, 43 yards through the air. Rushing minus 30. Look at those total yards, Rob. Tim, total yards tonight for thanks to Mrs. Amy Foster for these numbers. Total of 13 yards tonight for the Chase offense. Only two first downs. They had four turnovers, 30 yards in penalties. Rob, that's a dominant defensive performance tonight by the Chargers. You know, they've played well all year tonight. Maybe their best effort. What an outstanding job uh, defensively here tonight. For the Chargers, it was Peyton Kimberlin through the air, 9 for 18, 256 yards. He did have four carries for two yards, 258 total yards. It was Davion Pryor with six carries, 23 yards. Namari Border gets in to the game, 14 carries for 39 yards. It was Raekwon Turner, three carries for seven yards. Jerry Strong had two receptions for 22 yards. We talk about Tyshawn Odom, 10, five receptions, 148 yards. And Cam Peeler, three receptions for 86 yards. He also had uh, a carry for 10 yards, a total of 76 for him. On the night for the Chargers, 256 yards through the air, 61 on the ground, 317 total yards, nine first downs, only one turnover for the Chargers, but 165 yards in penalties, something the Chargers need to clean up. Yeah, no doubt about that. Let's name uh, our players of the game uh, tonight, and let's start first, Rob, with our uh, 
uh, Hendrick Appliance defensive player of the ball game and uh, the senior who uh, came back from injury last week. What a game for Justin Foster. Disrupted the entire offensive chase tonight. And I was getting text here as we were doing the broadcast and, and people from sitting over there in the stands over there just want, what look at Justin out there tonight. Look at him tonight. And you just said uh, maybe his most dominating performance thus far this year. Settle heating and air, Rob, offensive player of the game. Let's go with Tyshawn Odom, Tim. Uh, looking at his numbers tonight, five receptions, 148 yards, had the big touchdown uh, reception of 60-some-odd yards tonight. What a job he had uh, catching the ball. And, Rob, the interesting thing with him, uh, at last four games he's had close to 450 yards receiving. He has really stepped it up. Yeah, it's good to see him really getting involved in the offense once again. And our SNR Auto Sales overall player of the game, Rob, he did a great job from start to finish at quarterback. We're going with the sophomore quarterback. That's Peyton Kimmerlin. He was 50% on his passes, 9 for 18 tonight, 256 yards in the air, about 200 of those coming in the second half tonight. He really did, and and give a little bit of kudos as well, Rob, or kudos, no doubt, to that offensive line. He was under pressure first half. They made adjustments. Uh, exactly right. And, Tim, you know, it's one of those nights we, we talked about maybe Cam Peeler as our offensive player of the game. And then what about those uh, young running backs that came in for Davion Pryor after he was hurt, uh, Turner and Borders coming in and getting some good carries as well. So this was a team effort tonight against this very good defensive team for Chase. Well, we'll get ready next Friday night for Crest and Kings Mountain. We'll be on at 630. Big thanks to the whole crew tonight. And uh, as we mentioned, uh, best wishes to uh, to Andy as he continues to to uh, deal with some uh, health issues. Big thanks to John Prather on video tonight, uh, Amy Foster on stats. Rob, great working with you. First time we have worked uh, as a combo up, uh, I think, in over a decade, but it, it was uh, certainly enjoyable. And, Rob, it'll be a big one. Uh, we get ready for Crest Kings Mountain, a uh, big smack game next Friday night. When they heard the call of Crest Marlboro County, they said, let's do it one more time. <laughs> And tonight it was Chris nobody, and the Chase Truck. Nobody knows what you're talking about. They have no clue, but hey, it's all right. You're getting brown. Maybe some of the old, uh, old timers for, for Chris. <laughs> Big thanks to all of our sponsors, and we will look forward to seeing you next Friday night. Crest and Kings Mountain on KTCBroadcasting.com. Crest Football, a presentation of KTC Broadcasting. Have a great weekend, everybody.